Hello, everybody. Good evening. I'm sorry for the delay. Hello. Good I'm evening. Sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. Good evening. Don't worry. What time is it? Okay, good. Okay. Um, well, let's start. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. And is that the last one? Or this one? This one was the last one yesterday. Yes. yes. Okay, so we're gonna continue with this. Let's talk about family. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I'm going to write that question on the chat. We're going to start with that question. Or how many siblings do you have? Understand the question? Yes. Please write your answers. Hola. Hello, what's your answers? Yes, I have one sister and one brother. Wow, Sulma has six siblings. That's a big family. Yeah. We only have family. Good. Yes. All right, all right. Let me see. Brenda says, I have one sister, one brother. Good. One sister, one brother. Okay. I have only two sisters. I have one brother, Daisy. Elba has only, only girls, two sisters. I have a half sister and three half brothers. I have one sister and one brother. Good. I have, I can say I have two half sisters. I have two sisters, Daniela. I have one sister, Eric has one sister. I have two brothers. Stella has two brothers. Be careful allí, ¿verdad? Cuidadito. Huh. My brothers are going to... No more? All right. Let's continue. I have one brother, Lucia has one brother. A, a big big brother, or you are the big the big sister. Are you the big sister, Lucia? One brother, no, no more. Yeah, yeah, but are you the big sister or he is the big brother? Big brother. Ah, es mayor que usted, entonces. Yes. Okay, he's a big brother. So you are the baby of the family. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Good. Uh, okay. Let's continue. No more information. This conversation is about family. And these people is talking, I mean, this, this, these people, I mean, this girl and this boy are talking about family. So it says, I come from a big family. Let's see if we can practice that conversation. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents I'm sorry okay let's go any any questions about the conversation no questions yes Yes, no. Meili is a name. It's a name, yeah. Meili is a name. It's a name. Yeah, she's, she's Chinese. Okay. Is that the only? Nowadays? Nowadays, en esto, en estos días. Nowadays. Smaller? Más pequeña. A lot of families are smaller, so mass pequeños. Smaller is a comparative um, adjective. Okay, no more. We go to the rooms. And you gotta practice, okay? Let's practice.
All right, let's continue. Okay, let's talk about quantifiers. Quantifiers are used to uh, group a considerable um, number of people, but we don't say like the number of the people, we just like, go like, uh, like in general, okay? Like in Espanol, the Salvadorian people has uh, words like, like un montón, yeah? Bastante, muchos. So these are similar, okay? These are similar. Let's explain this one, like like all, all. We're talking about all my students in this group study every day. Or oh, oh, estoy mintiendo. Am I lying? No, right? You are you are great students and you study every day. Oh no. I'm going to study because I want to improve my English. Yeah, I, I want to speak a second language. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Excellent, yes. excellent. All my students in this class study hard. I'm going to say study hard. Se meten duro al, al estudio. They study hard. They study every day. Every night, when they wake up, when you wake up, the first thing you do is think in English. Oh, today I'm going to do this, this, and that, and that. And the colors are red, blue, white, okay. And uh, let me see, uh, I'm going to eat beans, egg, bread, cheese, coffee, and chocolate. Okay, ahí vamos todos practicando el vocabulario, right? So we have nearly all, it's like the 90%. Let's talk about the, the percentages. Like, look, meeting us. All families have only one child. <laughs> yeah, practice in your mind. That's good. When you're thinking, you're thinking in English is good. Yeah? Ah, me da pena hablarlo. Me van a escuchar la gente en el bus. Okay, bien, okay. But you can, you can go. In the bus, you can go walking and thinking in English. Yeah. Okay, that is a good exercise. Okay, all families have only one child. Nearly all families have one child. Most families have one, have, okay, have only one child. You see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have ten. Like this is 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10 percent. Okay, that's so many, many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Okay. Then we have the lower percentages like the. This is like the 50, let's say the 50, 50, 40. No, no. The 40%. Not many couples. Sorry. Not many couples have more than one child. A few, I mean, few couples have more than one child. And no one gets married before the age of 18. Understand? Yes. Okay. Can you write a sentence using the Mr. Donuts uh, donuts? Can you do, can you make a sentence with Mr. Donuts? 
Mm, a lot of people uh, buy Mr. Donut on September. Okay, we can say donuts. Okay, donuts. Donuts. Upset, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Can you say a sentence with uh, Christmas? You can use families. How would you say todas las familias se reúnen en Navidad? All the families are together in on Christmas. Okay, so very nice. Only we're gonna say get together. Okay. okay. All families get together in Christmas. Y early all families listening cumbia on Christmas. Okay, listen, listen to, listen, listen to, to okay. cumbias. Listen yeah. to cumbia on oh. on teacher. Yeah, on Christmas. On Christmas. Okay. Very good, very good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, let's let's create a sentence with uh, Holly Week. You know what is Holly Week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Many families go to the beach on Holy Week. Hey, good. All right. Thank you. Hey, now you understand this. You under really understand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. Now, I want you to write a sentence using, using one of the quantifiers on the chat, please. Uh, you are free to write any question, okay? Not many people, okay, not many people, not peoples, like Christmas time. Uh, a few students practice English in the chat. Oh, así estamos, no? Llegan los chat room y no participan. Uh -huh. 
Do you like Christmas, Selva, Isabel? Why? A lot of fun. Because in the past, um, we are all together with my grand grandparents, mm -hmm. and now they are gone. Oh, all well, is different. Yeah, the same happened to me. And last year, I spent my first day without my mom. My mom always came here to to celebrate. It was hard. Yeah, my, my grandma okay. is but, the same, but yeah. she she cook and oh. and she cook very. Yeah, I I I, I <laughs> got I got it I got it I got it. Yeah, so yeah, it's part of life. It's, it's hard. Okay, thanks for sharing. Nearly all people likes to celebrate Christmas. Nearly all families celebrate Christmas. Thank you. Most family meet, meet, meet on vacation. Some people in also celebrate Halloween. Oh yeah, some people. Uh, we're going to wear disguises on this uh, Halloween uh, at my job. I already have my my disguise. Many people get or receive gifts in Christmas. Most people like the weather in December. Yeah, it's nice weather, cool. Mostly if you go to Planes de Renderos or a high part of the of a mountain, like in Pital, places like that are the weather is awesome, fantastic. It's a good weather. Yeah, great weather. Okay, can you write one sentence with no one? Nearly all have come out to see the parade on September 15. Many people love, love to get together with their family in Christmas.
No one passed the course with 10. Perhaps I got 10. Okay, maybe, maybe. No one in Osar has a Lamborghini. I don't know if that's the right uh, spelling. Oh yeah, no one is allowed to drink. Yeah, that is the law. But I've seen many teenagers drunk. Girls and boys. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Yeah, they just go to the store, buy some uh, kawamas and take the house and that's it. That's, that's the story. Okay, let's continue. Thank you. Oh, let me see. Much, are we using much? My friends, are we using much? Estamos usando much? No, no, Lucia, no estamos usando much. Solo estos son, ve? All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of some, not many, a few, few, and no one. No, no estamos usando much. Be careful. Tal vez many. Okay. Lucy, don't worry. Okay. I want you to rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare with a partner. Okay. Then we're going to compare in group. Okay. Now, in China, the 50%. Remember that we have percentage. Está cabal, miren. Take a look, 100, 90, 100, 80, 100. I mean, sorry, sorry, 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%, uh, 60%, 50%, 40%, 30%, 20%, 20 and 0%. Okay, so you can use them and rewrite. Okay, what are you going to do? In lugar de 50%, you're going to write a word from the chart, okay? And so on. Please do it.
What are the sentences for number one? What do you have for number one? Um, in China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. A lot of, let me see, a lot of, okay. In China, a lot of women, okay? They, they, that is the plural, women. Yeah, okay, women. Women get married by the age of 22. Okay, thank you. We're gonna write it over here so we can share with your partners. Okay. What do you have for number two? In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Nearly all? Yes. Okay, let, let's see. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Okay. Let's go with number three. Uh huh. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. In the United States, no one of the people vote before the age of 18. Excellent. Number four. Hello, number four, say it. We can say not many people in Germany live alone or a few. We can use both. You said uh, none of the people? Not many. Not many. Not many people. Not many. Let's see. Thirty five percent. Let's see. What is it? Not many. Mm, yeah. It's okay. Not many of the people in Germany live alone. And the last one, 
nearly all. Seventy seventy eight. Okay, nearly all. Nearly all of American high school students have jobs. All right. Now, now that we have a clear how to use the quantifier, you are going to write sentences about El Salvador using this information. If it is necessary, you're going to change the percentage of the sentence, I mean, the quantity or percentage of people that is doing or not doing these things, okay? Also, you can change the age. I don't know, 22, 20, 18, I don't know. Okay, that is your opinion, okay? Please write it. Start writing, please. Understand the, the activity? Uh, yes, I'm not teacher. I just have one question. Uh -huh. uh, for this sentence that we have to create, we will use the percent or we will use the quantifiers? Quantifiers. Uh, okay. Thank and you. Ba based on El Salvador, okay? Only El Salvador. Okay. Thank not you. China, not Australia, not based, the United States. Based on these sentences, right? Yeah, based on those sentences. Ah, sorry, those sentences. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. El Salvador, beautiful country. Okay, Haciel, you really have problem with your internet.
vida yo he esperado por I'm waiting. Ah. In, in uh, so many people, many of the people vote before the age of 21. In El Salvador, few people live alone. Yeah, because uh, uh, it's our culture. And also, you need to have a good uh, income, a good job to pay your own apartment or house. That's why families live together. Well, maybe people that have money, yeah, they live alone, they have their apartment, they have their house, car and everything. Only Fatima, wow. Okay, all people in El Salvador get Dewey before the age, before 18. Uh -oh. Maybe after 18 or at the age, at the age. Let's change that, that Daniela. At the, at the, be, erase before and right at at the age of 18, because when you're 18, you're allowed to get your Dewey. Not before. There you go with okay. your, there you go with your mama and your papa to get your first Dewey. No visto eso. Boys and girls with their mama and their papa go to the Dewey Centro and get it. <laughs> Like a kid. A few of Salvadorians, high schoolers or high school students have a job. Okay, Margarita, thank you. Yeah, most of our teenagers are, are lazy. All the other things that there are no opportunities, maybe in the States is different because when you are in a, like in ninth grade, you can get a, a McDonald's a job, a Burger King, a Dunkin' Donut, or in a supermarket, you can work. I guess here you can work at the age of 16, I guess, with a permission, or 14. But not all the teenagers do that. I mean... In El Salvador, old couple have children before. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And that's why we have a lot of uh, single mothers. My mom was a single mother. Because uh, Salvadorian, I mean, Salvadorian men are irresponsible. We're going to recover the time we lost because I, I, I think I got connected at 8.06. This, this uh, machine has gave me problems by connecting.
in El Salvador, many girls get pregnant. That's sad. That is sad. Yeah. Even though you are telling them to use preservatives uh, to avoid contact because they're going to get, uh, they could get a, a sexual disease transmitted. I mean, uh, I guess it's a DTS. And they don't care. They don't care. Okay, I only have Lucia. Isabel, Andrea, Margarita, Daniela, Andrea de Los Angeles, Fatima. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you are 20 and something? You are 23? Está pasando lo mismo que en los chat rooms. You don't want to participate. Oh, thank you, Erica. Oh, there you are, a lot of three. You know, so old people like, oh yeah, that's a good one. You know, old people like pupusas, yes. Not all people like to listen to, yeah, I don't like neither. It's offensive. Uh, in Asabo, many people use, use, public transportation every day. In El Salvador, some people have a driving license. Okay, thank you, Freddy. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna stop here and we're gonna call the attendance right now. It's time. It's time to take a break and relax. So right now, I'm going to call Andrea de Los Angeles Musum. Present. Thank you. Brenda Carolina Mejia. Present. Daniela Beatriz Cerritos. Present. Okay, David Moisés Ventura. Daisy Estefanía Carrillo. Present. Thank Present. You. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Alas. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda Ortiz. Present. Okay, Eved Jaciel Cardoza. Elba Isabel Zúñiga. Present teacher. Thank you. Emily Nicole Ramirez. Eric Ronaldo Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Marilu Estrada. Present. Thank you. Estela Guadalupe Maravilla. Thank you. Fátima Larisa Melara. Thank you, teacher. Freddy Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Saraí Vigil. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julia Margarita Rivas. Present, Jeff. Thank you. Lucia del Carmen Mejia. 
Send teacher. Thank you. Maria Jose Cucufate. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Ramirez. Pablo Alejandro Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Perdomo. Rosibel Esmeralda Laínez. Present teacher. Sandy Roxana Díaz. Present. Thank you. Eh, Wendy Adamaris Pleites. Present teacher. Thank you. Selena Yamile Reyes. And Zulma Natividad Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Viendo la plataforma, veamos. Jennifer Saraí tiene bastante que completar. Bastante que completar. Está debiendo mucho, mucho, mucho. Teacher, solo dos me faltan, dos actividades que no pude resolver. Ya las bueno, otras ya las hice. Ah, quizás no está actualizado esto entonces. Sí, teacher, porque yo ya terminé solo dos actividades, me faltan, que están entre medio, no son de las finales, sino que ah, están entre medio. Ah, pero aquí, ajá, porque aparece una con el 66% y las otras con 0%. Ya pasé del 80%, ya ah, voy a... Pues, ah, pues no está actualizado, déjeme ver, déjeme ver, ahorita lo, a, acabo de refrescar esto. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Yes. Okay. Bueno, entonces usted lo tiene refrescado porque a mí no me parece refrescado esto. Ok, teacher. Si no, ya voy a enviar así como bien dicho la captura porque ya en las noches terminé todas. Muy bien, solo sí. Eh, siempre este, guárdense ahí evidencia, guarden evidencia por cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Bueno, okay. chicos. Sí. Gracias. Muy bien. Ok, my friends. Uh, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last class. Okay, so take care. And Good night.